Welcome to Trail Playbook for a video guide to the John Nicholas Trail. This is three miles long with 1,200 feet of elevation drop, rated blue square for moderate difficulty. This is perhaps the best trail descending into Santa Clara Valley, aka Silicon Valley, in the South San Francisco Bay Area. The John Nicholas Trail, or JNT for short, is multi-use for hikers, bikers, and horses located in Sanborn County Park, so be sure to watch out for two-way traffic. Opening in 2014, JNT took 500 volunteers over two and a half years with over 3,000 hours of labor to construct. Named in tribute to John Nicholas, one of the founders of West Valley College's Park Management Program, he passed away in 1998, leaving a legacy of local parks and national impact. Slowing down for two hikers, saying hello, and passing a feature on the left to get some fun air. Coming around this turn is a beautiful view with a bench of Silicon Valley and another two bikers saying hello. That bench is one of many places to stop, sit down, and enjoy the scenery. This video does show a medium safe speed as there is almost always two-way traffic to look out for. The bike used in this video is a 2019 Santa Cruz Stigmata with WTB Ranger 650B by 2O tires at 21 front and 23 PSI rear for a rider weight of 155 pounds. But this trail is fun to pedal up and cruise down on almost anything. This video was shot in the morning hours of a cool early October 2020 day. The conditions are maximally dry with dust over hard, sandy conditions and many turns crumbled to the outside. Coming into a little bit of a riser and then starting a super long sweeping left-hand turn. Look at the GPS trace in the upper right. This turn is almost 30 seconds long of left, still turning left, still turning left, and turning left for quite some time. And still turning left. On the left is another built feature for a little bit of air, getting the tiniest bit off the ground as I'm on a rigid gravel bike. The soil and the trees. This is the typical silty, sandy soil of the Santa Cruz Mountains, as this is on the eastern slope. And the trees are a mix of coast redwood and coast live oak, two of my favorites. Pacific madrona, those trees with a rainbow colored bark, big leaf maple, and tan bark oak. Coming into the most built up part of the trail, the series of switchbacks, a right turn, followed by a left with a little bit of a bank. Back to that boulder for another right turn. Past a bench for, you guessed it, upcoming on a left turn with a little bit of a bank. Past some of those beautiful madronas. And then that boulder one last time with the bench and a flat right turn with a little bit of a riser on the exit. Coming into a decreasing radius flat left turn across a stone bridge with a bench into a little bit of a riser and then opening back up into a great sight line. A note of caution, this hard right flat turn with the boulder on the inside is blind. I do recommend slowing down here as I've personally encountered riders and hikers countless times in that turn. And this trail is over a thousand feet down, but has a great opportunity to pedal, pedal, pedal through a riser little bit more of a riser uphill and saying hello to a biker. Coming into a fun S turn here.
and then crossing an ancient driveway with an opportunity to boost for a little air. And here's a fun hard left turn with a great sight line on the exit continuing down. Don't forget to duck this bent over tree and continuing a series of sloping turns. This is one of the trickiest sloping turns. It is flat and also potentially fast, but has a lot of sand on the outside. Seeing another uphill biker. Hello. And what I consider to be the best switch back here, a nice left turn with a high berm that you can really cruise through. Slowing down to the outside for another biker, as this is a two-way trail and most people ride up and then down this way. Another flat right turn. But this one's more fun, as there's a ramp to boost on the exit. Into a slightly tricky, tight right-hand turn with plenty of evidence of off-trail excursions on the outside, with the next 30 seconds being a series of sweeping, wide-open turns with great sight lines. Slowing down for three hikers, coming into a tight left-hand turn that I always wish the berm was a little bit higher. A right-hand turn with a little bit of a berm lip, but it's actually longer than it looks as it continues turning right after the first apex. The trail becomes a bit narrower and tighter with a little bit of air off that route. High into the outside for the switchback and then to the steepest downhill portion of the trail where my best line tends to be straight down the middle and hold on for the few moments until it flattens back out. The steep grade and loose soil is tricking the uphill direction as well, requiring careful line choice and some serious grunting to pedal, pedal, pedal. For this last mile, the grade is a bit steeper, requiring a bit more care in the turns to look out for uphill traffic, and also if you're pedaling uphill, a bit more fun from the start of the trail. This used to be a line you could ride up high on, but there's a fallen tree in the way now, so watch out for that as of October 2020. into a ramp that can be used for some air, and then into a series of sloping turns that are a lot of fun. Talking about trail popularity, as of October 2020, over 5,000 riders have logged this on Strava. So JNT is one of the go-to trails for riding locally, but not quite the flow trail in Demo State Forest with over 18,000 riders on Strava.
And talking about popularity, here's a big group of brightly colored uphill riders. And some more. Coming into a hard left turn. Safely passing a hiker and then into a series of turns before crossing a bridge. Across this bridge, with a bench to take in some great nature views, for the closing moments of the trail where it's gravel over hard, so a different condition, chicane through these boulders, and then a series of flat turns across the second bridge. And a few more flat turns, closing out the trail, crossing a third bridge, and that's the John Nicholas Trail. I hope this video was helpful in terms of guiding and run what you brung, even if it's gravel bike, to ride the John Nicholas Trail. And don't forget to smash subscribe and ring the bell to be in the loop for future trail playbook videos.